Okay, good day. So this is MC Squared Coaching Center again and my topic for today is Algebra Part 3. I'm Engineer Melvin John H. Banzuelo, CIS. So this is Algebra Part 3 and most of ano po dito class, most of problems sa discussion ko sa engineering board exam na frequently asked questions is galing po yung ibang problem sa reviewer ko po, sa libro ko po. So, may mga problems po kasi doon sa book na may, may mga typo error. Uh, dito po, na-correct ko na po. So, if may copy po ko ng book ko, so mas maganda po if may copy po kayo ng book ko. So, some of problems na i-discuss ko po dito sa YouTube channel ko, sa channel ko po, is galing po doon sa book ko. So, okay, let's start na dito po sa Algebra Part 3. So, this is problem number one. Melvin can do a certain job in three hours while the same job takes six four hours. How long will it take both of them working together? Okay. So, this is a, a, a work problem. Okay. This is a work problem. So, Melvin daw can do a certain job in three hours and si Chicks can do it in four hours. How long will it take both of them working together so in terms of a rate the number uh, the amount of work done by melvin in one day is one one third because that is uh three and then one fourth para kay chicks para makuha po natin yung the number of days na uh, number of hours na mag work sila working together i-add po natin yung rate ni melvin at saka rate ni chicks that is one third plus one fourth. So, ganito po siyang mangyayari. So, let x be the number of hours for both to complete the work and 1 over x the amount of work done by both in one hour. So, x the number of hours that they will take, uh, that they will work together. So, in equation, you have the, the work done by uh, the rate na magawa na work ni Melvin is 1 over 3 and then 4 chicks is 1 fourth equals to 1 over x. Class, tandaan lang po natin na every time sinasabing working together, ganito po talaga yung forma. Rate ng isang worker plus rate ng isang worker equals rate na, ng work na combine na silang dalawa. Okay? So, x po yung hinahanap natin dyan, class. So, ito, type natin directly sa calculator. 1 third plus 1 fourth equals 1 over x and then, after natin matype ito sa calculator, press lang po tayo ng shift calc. Okay? Again, yung gamit ko na calculator dito is Casio 5X, 5S570. Okay? So, shift calc, then lalabas sa calculator na X equals to 1.714285714. So, ito po yung lalabas po talaga sa calculator. This is 1 third plus 1 fourth equals to 1 X. And then, pag input natin yan, shift calc lang natin, then the correct answer is letter, letter A, 1.714 hours. Problem number two, if the larger of two integers whose sum is 88 is divided by the smaller, the quotient is 5 and the remainder is 10, what are the two numbers? Okay, if the larger of two integers whose sum is 88, is divided by the smaller, the quotient is 5, and the remainder is 10. What are the two numbers? So, kung titignan natin dito, class, whose sum is 88, test natin yung every choices. 13 plus 75, that is 88. 10 plus 78, that is also 88. 68 plus 20, that is also 88. 6 plus 82, that is also 88. So, sa sum that is 88, check po silang lahat. Then, if the larger of two integers, ito yung mga larger, okay, larger. If the larger of two integers divided by the smaller, the quotient is 5 and the remainder is 10. Okay, if magsasatisfy po ito, quotient is 5 in, and remainder is 10, then therefore, yun na po yung correct answer. So, let's try letter A. So, the larger divided by the smaller. So, type natin sa calculo, divide 75 divided by 13. And after natin matayo sa calculator, 
i-form natin siya ng mixed fraction. Sa mixed fraction, ang i-press natin sa calculator shift uh, shift SD. Okay? So, ang labas niyan, that is 5 times 10 over 13. So, again, class, remember that uh, itong 5, ito yung quotient. Yan, yan po yung quotient. And itong 10, ito po yung uh, remainder. Okay? Yan po yung remainder. Okay? So, from here, class, kung napansin ninyo, very obvious na yung correct answer. And the correct answer here is, what? Ano yung correct answer? So, sabi niya, sabi niya, quotient is 5. Yan po yung quotient is 5. And remainder is 10. Okay? Remainder is 10. So, yun po yung ano niya. So, the correct answer here is very obvious that is letter a. Kasi si letter B, 78 divided by 10, that is 7, 8 over 10. The, the, uh, sa letter B, quotient niya is 7, remainder niya is 8. Sa letter C naman, quotient niya is 3, remainder niya is 8. And then, sa letter D, ang um, quotient niya is 13, remainder niya is, is 4. So, the correct answer here, that is letter, ayun, that is a letter A. Next, we have uh, problem number 3 na tayo. This is arithmetic progression. The 18th and 52nd terms of an arithmetic progression are 3 and 173, respectively. Find the 25th term. Okay, The 18th and 52nd terms of an arithmetic progression are 3 and 173, respectively. Find the 25th term. So, this is an arithmetic progression. So, pag arithmetic progression, kuha po kayo ng calculator, input mode 3, 2. Pindutin nyo yung mode, then 3, and then 2. So, usually, pag mode 3 natin, yan po yung lalabas. Pag pindot ka ng mode, and then 3, yan po yung, uh, mode pa lang, yan na po yung lalabas. Pag press mo ng mode. Then, press 3 for start. And then after mo na press 3, lalabas po ito siya. Then press 2 for A plus BX. Ibig sabihin, arithmetic progression. After mo mag-press ng 2, mode 3, 2, then lalabas po yung table. So, ano po yung input natin sa table? Input po natin sa table yung given terms sa problem. So, ang given, we have 18th term is 3 and 52nd term 173. So, yan na po yung i-input natin po sa table sa calculator. So, as x, yung n, 18th term, that is 3, and then 52nd term, that is 173. After that, press AC, then 2, 5, as 25, then shift 1, 5, 5. Ang lalabas niyan is 25 y hat. Okay? 25 y hat, pag press mo ng equal, lalabas na 38. And the correct answer is letter letter D. Okay? So, I hope klaro po yung pagkakasolve ko. So, napansin ninyo dito, class, hindi po tayo gumamit ng formula sa arithmetic progression no? compared sa nakasanayan sa natin na tinuro sa atin during, during college days. As long as na may calculator kayo dito, class, usually calculator na Casio 570, Casio 5, FS 570, eto po ang yung solution natin. Masyadong madali, masyadong mapabilis lang yung pagpapa, yung pag-solve natin ng problem. So, praktisan po natin yung calculator para pagdating ng exam, medyo madali na lang. Okay? So, yun po for algebra part 3. I hope klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss ko. And if ever may tanong, just PM me lang or message me sa Messenger. Hanapin nyo lang, type nyo lang yung name ko, Melvin John Habla Bansuelo, and then message nyo po ako. Or, if may mga request kayo ng mga problem sa algebra, or any, pro or any topic sa engineering mathematics, pwede nyo i-PM po sa akin, para magawan ko po ng lecture video for free. Okay? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe. And share also to others, lalo na yung mga nagre-review. Pwede rin hindi sa mga nagre-review, pwede rin sa mga 
uh, college student, college engineering students. Again, thank you. And our next topic is Algebra Part 4. Thank you and have a nice day.